Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, where today we're going to take a look at SurveyMonkey as it jumps in for a second time in a month to join established researchers in the study of possibilities of improving research. And we hear USAMP's new business model built around higher quality sample and premium pricing. We're sponsored today and this week by 2020 Research, the global leader in online qualitative research, helping you do better research. Not long ago, SurveyMonkey entered into a collaboration with NBC News to jointly study potential polling technique improvements. Before any enhancement has even taken place, some see deeper meaning in that partnership as a very public credibility boost for SurveyMonkey. Now, SurveyMonkey has announced it will examine non-probability sampling and potential frameworks for measurement and evaluation with two other vaunted research organizations. Westat and Pew Research Center. Each of the three in the triumvirate will contribute data and staff time. SurveyMonkey will provide access to its online panel. Westat will collect new data from a nationally representative address-based adult sample and Pew will employ its nationally representative American Trends panel and comparisons from its national telephone surveys. The trio will examine science underlying adjustments and weighting that are regularly applied to non-probability internet-based sampling, address-based sampling, probability-based and internet-based sampling. What's that senior statistician Mike Brick remarked, quote, collectively, we want to explore the assumptions of the underlying model and if or how revisions should be made to rethink quality in our industry, end of quote. SurveyMonkey VP of Survey Research John Cohen, its point man as well with NBC, commented, quote, we hope to improve understanding of this new era of opinion research and move the entire industry forward, end of quote. Now, I find it most ironic that a DIY research operation is at the core of efforts to advance survey research for the entire industry. Think about it. Next, eight months ago, USAMP decided to pursue a new business model that focuses on clients who not only say they want better sample quality, but will pay more for it. New USAMP President Alan Gould agreed to speak to us about this new marketing tact that is not only realigning who USAMP does business with and how much business they do, but the scope of those relationships. We took a look at uh, the kind of clients that we wanted to be in business with, and we wanted to be in business with both brands and the market researchers uh, you know, that are truly on the cutting edge of answering very important questions. Um, that led to, well, if they're going to be an asking and answering very important questions and they're going to be using panel and they're going to be using our panel, then we simply want to be the best and those are the clients that we want to be in business with. Do you perceive the use of panel changing in coming years? Absolutely. I mean, I see it bifurcating. I think there are going to be, they're going to there's going to continue to be, although over time sh it'll be a shrinking share, but there's going to continue to be a big share of the marketplace for whom uh, they're just going to want the lowest cost panel there is, um, and that's going to be of questionable quality. Um, and then there's going to be an increasing number of brands and market researchers and others that are going to want to know everything there is to know about every person who's part of a survey and with technology you can do that now it's a little bit more expensive but ultimately it produces much better research and therefore much better decisioning and that's where we want to play. How do you convince the client um, that they should be willing to pay more? Great question. We don't, um, we don't actually convince them to pay more. We just end up in a bigger discussion about what their needs are and many of our clients have serious uh, technology uh, needs. They need, to, they need to catch up to where their own clients are and usually that involves um, making some kind of uh, technology enhancement to how they're collecting and sorting, understanding and displaying their own data. We're in a unique position to be able to do that work for them. So in several cases, or more than several, uh, we've been able to do contracts that tie in our sample um, with uh, a technology team that helps, that's helping our clients to transform their ability uh, to do their own research. And those conversations take us completely out of uh, the typical bid-ask process, and we've been, we've been successful to doing, to doing it. In addition, 
we're, um, we've invested a significant amount of money in our audience API business and we're in increasing the number of audiences that our clients can connect up directly to and uh, buy. Um, and at the very front end of our of our overall panel process, we've introduced something Bob called adaptive profiling. Um, the easiest way to describe it is that we use a, a pretty sophisticated algorithm uh, that figures out how to ask the right question of the right person and put them into the right survey. So instead of asking somebody 20 questions to see if they might um, be right for survey, we've gotten it down to a single question. Half of the value add that we've been able to provide um, uh, a bunch of our clients at this point are in the, in the realm of doing mobile research and doing it effectively. Um, I, give you, I give you an example. Um, we're already uh, doing what we call kind of third generation mobile geofencing type work. So we can figure out if you walk into a car dealer whether you're there to actually buy a car or you're there just to get uh, your existing car serviced. Um, and there's a lot of our clients out there who know that um, they need to be doing in context uh, research. They don't have the technological capacity to do it. We do. Now the advantage to going after quality business, by the way, uh, and I do believe that an increasing there's going to be increasing demand from that part of the marketplace. But obviously, the the biggest benefit is that that's um, uh, the margins in that work are just higher. They're better. So you earn more, and if you earn more, you can invest more. If you invest more, it becomes a virtuous cycle where you can stay ahead uh, and you can continue to drop off. Uh, some of the lower end work that, quite frankly, uh, isn't healthy for any company. And you're already seeing these benefits in terms of margins, is that correct? That's correct. We've seen, uh, over the last six months, we've seen uh, a steady uptick. Uh, internally here, it's been a little bit unbelievable. Uh, we've seen a 20% uptick in our margins. Our thanks to Alan for sharing some of you, Sam's thinking. That's your Research Business Daily Report sponsored by 2020 Research, the global leader in online qualitative research, helping you do better research. 2020 understands all too well how their work for clients needs to be fast, hassle-free, and done correctly. The industry's most comprehensive suite of software and services, plus some of the best and most professional project managers, will help you understand 2020's claim as the global leader in online qualitative research. You should check out www.2020research.com. Have a great research day, and we wish everyone in our American audience a happy Thanksgiving. Please enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.